I had no idea Salem Saberhagen was in an episode of The Simpsons. I'm absolutely mind blown. Mind blown that I didn't know this. Mind blown that it's awesome. And also kind of mind blown by how small it is. Nick Bakai has two words to say. And I have to say it's rather marvellous. It's just, it's made my week. It really has. This is the 12th episode of the 15th season. Millhouse doesn't live here anymore. And Millhouse is moving away which is pretty shocking. And when I realised that's what it was about, I thought, what are you doing? What's the future of Millhouse going to be like? And I won't answer that question, but I genuinely thought it was quite an interesting thing to do. And we get to see this really big vulnerability with Bart. Bart is a kind of, kind of character who doesn't really show his emotions. And in this one, that's not the case. He is heartbroken. And I feel like pretty much everybody can relate to Bart in some way or another. In, in that situation and it's so heartbreaking to see him move away. We do get to see Milhouse in his new life and I have to say it's pretty awesome. It's uh, unexpected and he looks pretty different and I think it worked quite well. Bart and Lisa become much closer as a result of Milhouse's absence and there's such a sweet scene on their bikes and it's, it's so lovely and there's one of my favourite scenes in this, actually, it's very brief. Most of my favourite things in this are very brief. But it's when Bart and Lisa are playing outside. They're meant to be washing the car, but they're having fun with each other. And for about two seconds, we just see Marge gazing out the window at her two children playing happily. And it's so wonderful and so beautiful. And that part of the narrative I really loved. We also have a subplot with Homer. Homer is doing something that some might consider questionable in order to get Marge an expensive present. Well, expensive for Homer. And I have to say, it's wonderful. It's lovely. It's such an admirable thing for him to do in order to put himself out there and make the effort. But at the same time, should he really be doing it? I won't say any more than that. Feel free to debate it if you want. But it's, uh, I liked how that narrative kind of, that part of the narrative concluded itself. And I think the message is something that I agree with. I think. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I would have liked it even if Salem hadn't been in it. But those two words from Nick Bakai and just the image of Salem, what happens to him, it's just, oh, it's so wonderful. It really, oh, Sabrina is life and Salem in Simpsons style is brilliant. The animation is actually a little rough around the edges, but because it literally takes up about the image of him on screen is maybe there for five seconds. And his role, his focus, is about two seconds at the most. So I can understand why they wouldn't spend ages fine-tuning the animation of, of Salem. But I think it's pretty good. Millhouse Doesn't Live Here Anymore is definitely an unexpected episode in more ways than one. And definitely, with or without Salem, one I enjoyed.